So, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. Really? Sure. I mean, you know, do I wish me and Rachel living together would have worked out? Of course. You know, I'm disappointed, but it's not like uh, it's a divorce. Well, actually, it, no, it, it's it, not a divorce. It is not a divorce. <laughs> Anyway, I think Rachel and I need to, you know, get on with our lives. Maybe, maybe start seeing other people. Wow. Really? Yeah, sure, why not? In fact, if you know anyone, that'd be good for me. Sure, I know lots of girls. Yeah, any names come to mind? Ooh, names. <laughs> hey! Hey, I was just gonna get something to eat. You want something? What you got? Okay, let's see. We got strained peas, strained carrots. Ooh, strained plums. We haven't tried that yet. Goody! Oh. Thanks. Hey. So, how is it living with Rachel again? I mean, apart from the great food. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, it's just weird what's happening with her and Ross. You know, yesterday, he asked me to fix him up with somebody. Oh, my God, Rachel asked me if I knew anyone for her, too. Why are they doing this? I don't know. So perfect for each other. It's crazy. You know what's crazy? These jars. What is it, like two bites in here? <laughs> I just wish they'd realize they should be together. I know, I know. And when they move back in together, I figure, you know, that's where things are headed. I know. They should be a family. They should get married and have more children. Yes, and they should name one of their kids Joey. <laughs> hey, well, I may not have kids. Someone's got to carry on the family name. You know what? Maybe once they start dating and they see what's out there, they'll realize how good they are for each other. Yeah, because it is slim pickings. Oh. You know, I had this date last night. Yuck. Mm. But we should probably keep it down. She's still in the bedroom. So what are we going to do? Are we just going to go ahead and set them up with people? I know. That just pushes them further and further apart. Yeah. Oh, I know what we can do. We could set Ross and Rachel up on horrible dates so that they'll realize how good they are together. Ooh, that's a great plan. Yeah. You know what the best part of it is? I get to do my plan laugh. <laughs> not so loud. We don't want to wake up, uh... I just set Rachel up with the worst guy tonight. All right. Who is he? Well, it's this guy I used to massage. And by massage, I mean hold down so he wouldn't turn over and flash me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait till you hear who I got for Ross. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's this really boring woman. She's a teacher. A teacher? Yeah, yeah. She's really into history and foreign movies. Oh, oh. And she loves puzzles. Huh? <laughs> Come on, who loves puzzles? Well, Ross does. <laughs> what, you, you, you're ruining the plan. Joey, you, you, you fixed him up with his perfect woman. Oh, my God, you're right. Yeah. She even reads for pleasure. Oh. Oh. How do you even know a woman like that? What, what? I'm not allowed to know smart women? Joey. I met her at the library. I went in to pee. <laughs> so now what do we do? Well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just call her and tell her the date's canceled and find him somebody else. What if we don't find him somebody else? We'll just tell her the date's off, but we don't tell Ross, and he goes to the restaurant and gets stood up. Ooh, ooh, I hear that's bad. <laughs> ooh, so this is great. Well, Rachel's gonna have a terrible date, Ross gets stood up, and then they'll realize how good they have it together. Ah, uh, yes, the plan. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> not Santa's plan. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not that fun. No, I think we killed it. 